In November 2019, I attended a crucial J2 game at NAC5 Stadium as Olmir Ardija took on Avispa Fukuoka. It was almost a full house and the stadium was absolutely rocking. I recommend watching the video I made of that experience as a comparison ahead of what you're about to see in this video. You can find the video link in the top right hand corner of your screen or in the description below. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of the stadium staff at NAC5 Stadium for their hard work under the current difficult circumstances. They made the experience you're about to see incredibly smooth and stress-free while maintaining high safety standards throughout. Without them, this match night would not have been possible. So welcome back to football. This weekend, uh, fans are allowed back into J-League stadiums for the first time since February. The last game I went to was on February 23rd, which was a Jeff United Chiba game. Uh, just a few days after that, football in Japan was suspended due to the uh, coronavirus outbreak. And since then, yeah, complete lockdown for football. No fans allowed, um, but two weeks ago, I think it was, the league restarted. And this weekend is the first weekend that fans have been allowed back in. But it's a very different world. Um, on the way in, temperature checks, alcohol hand sprays, the mask is compulsory. Um, yeah, it's very different. Also tonight, reserved seating only. So NAC5 is my local stadium. Uh, I walked here tonight actually to avoid using the trains. Um, usually it's a very loud place, very vibrant, lots of uh, shouting, singing, chants, tifos. But the current situation means that attendance is restricted to either 5,000 or 50% of the capacity. I think tonight probably 5,000, maybe less would be allowed in. We'll find out later. Um, I assume it's sold out as well. There's also no singing, no chanting allowed uh, to try to halt the infections. Um, Clapping, I think it's okay, that's fine. Flags, not okay, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, it's gonna be very um, different, a lot quieter than it usually is here at NAC5 Stadium. Tonight, this game is Ormia Ardija versus Tokyo Verdi. Um, so I'll talk more about that later, but I think first of all, it's just important to recognize the situation. And of course, it goes without saying that I want to say, a few, I think we all want to say a huge thank you to all of the healthcare workers, frontline workers who've enabled us to be able to get back into the stadiums. Um, I thought for a while like we weren't going to get any chances this season to get back into the stadium, so I'm really happy to be back here. But of course, as well, I know the coronavirus situation is terrible, um, especially in some countries, it's really bad. So my thoughts are, of course, with anybody who's affected. Football is very unimportant at the end of the day, but um, for a lot of people, it's um, a sense of normality returning in a way. Of course, it's not a normal situation, but we're, we're getting there, hopefully. Um, but I'm not trying to play down the seriousness of the situation, of course, but you know, we, it looked for a long time, maybe we weren't gonna get this, uh, even this opportunity this season. Hopefully the situation does improve more and more as we go forward. But for now, I'm just very thankful to everybody who's still working really hard uh, to ensure that we stay safe and that we can at least enjoy a little bit of uh, something like this every now and then. A couple of other important things, I think, to mention. Um, I mentioned earlier about the all-reserve seating, um, but if I show you just uh, along the row here, you can see that. Most seats are blocked, so I think the three seats next to me are blocked on this side and on the other side. So there should be space between every spectator, so social distancing will be enforced in the stadium. There's no food and drink for sale. Um, all, those, uh, all the food stalls are closed, so you, can have, you have to bring your own drinks in. Um, yeah, so I think um, that's, 
that's the crux of it at the moment, that's basically um, the situation. As for the players, um, celebrations of course are more subdued, sort of an elbow touch to celebrate. Um, they do that social distancing photo at the start, which is kind of ridiculous because you social distance, the player social distance for the team photo, but then they go onto the pitch and start barging into each other. So yeah, that's kind of a bit of a show, I think, but I guess it sets a good example in a way. Um, yeah, so that's uh, basically the situation we have. Um, it feels weird, to be honest, just being back in the stadium. It's, it's strange, <laughs> kind of overwhelming in a way. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm interested to see what it's going to be like. I watched uh, last night the highlights of um, Fajiano Okayama and um, who was the other team? Kita Kyushu, I think. Oh, come on, I'll put it on screen if I'm wrong. But um, in that game, they had the fans in the stadium. That was the first game with the fans back in the stadium. They were also piping in music, crowd noise, to make up for the fact that the fans can't sing. I'll be interested tonight to see if they do the same with uh, NAC5 here with the uh, Adija fans. I expect they will. So expect clapping from the fans and uh, piped in music to make up for the fact that nobody can sing. Anyway, let's um, think about the football itself. Let's not talk about the stadium anymore. Let's talk about the football. It's kind of a, become a bit of a sideshow that there's actually a football game happening. <laughs> but um, yeah, Omiya Ardija um, started really well. They've won three games out of three so far. Top of the league, nine points out of three games. Fantastic, really impressed, They're looking good. Hopefully this is the season where they can finally get back into J1. I think this is now the third season back in J2. Last year they came close, they've been in the playoffs actually the last two seasons. I came here towards the end of last season um, and I filmed a game against uh, Avispa Fukuoka where they did really well in that game. They won 3-0. But, um, and I finished third that season to end up in the playoffs and ultimately didn't make it through. But this season's looking good. Um, I mean it's very early of course, but and there's a lot of games um, because of the forced um, stoppage. There is going to be pretty much two games a week now from this point onwards till the end, so it's going to be really tiring. It's going to come down to squad size, I think, this season, um, as to whether or not you're going to be uh, able to maintain the pace. Another important point uh, this season because of the, uh, the forced stop, there is no relegation from J2 or J1 uh, this season, So, but um, there will still be promotion. So the top two will go up automatically from J2 to J1, but nobody will be relegated from J1, nobody relegated from J2. The reason that they've uh, scrapped relegation is to protect clubs financially if they get relegated because a lot of clubs obviously have taken a big hit this season due to the um, yeah, due to the situation. As for Tokyo Verdi, not such a great start. Down in 19th, two points from three games. Could be another tough season for them. They were mid-table last year. Um, of course, uh, Tokyo Verdi, a very famous name in Japanese football. It used to be known as Yamiuri Verdi and Kawasaki Verdi. And um, they won the inaugural J League season in 1993. Um, so yeah, obviously a really uh, famous name, but these days they seem to be a club without much of a direction. It's uh, pretty sad to see in a way. They play in Ajinomoto Stadium. I went there a few years ago and I filmed the experience. I'll put a link. And they play in a really big empty stadium. Um, they've lost a lot of their fans because of um, when they moved and relocated. And obviously the results aren't good, so yeah, it's a bit of a sad situation for them. Hopefully in the future they can uh, sort it all out and get back to um, where they once were. But it doesn't look like it will be this season. It's uh, yeah, pretty difficult. Um, so as for today, you'd obviously have to say Ormia are the favourites, going for four wins out of four. But J2 is a bit mad sometimes, so really anything could happen. But I would say home win for Ardija today. I'm going to stick my neck out here and say 2-0 to Ardija. Before this game, I ran a poll on Twitter um, to find out if people would be willing to watch football in Japan at the moment. 
Um, just to bring you up to speed, if you're not living in Japan or you're not familiar with the situation, Corona cases for the last three days in the Tokyo area have been over 200 cases per day. Um, I think it was on Thursday they recorded the highest totals um, since the outbreak began. So um, yeah, it's um, probably not an ideal situation. But um, the decision to let fans back into the stadium was made during a time when the case numbers were quite low. There was kind of a lockdown in Japan. Um, in Japan, it's not really possible for the government to enforce a strict lockdown like in some countries. But there was um, a state of emergency for two months, I believe. And that did bring the case numbers really low, like down to single figures for a few days. But since the state of emergency was lifted, numbers have been increasing uh, quite significantly, especially in the Tokyo area. Um, and also in other parts of Japan, Osaka, I think, and uh, maybe in Fukuoka was for a while was quite high. Um, also, today I'm in Omiya, which is in Saitama Prefecture, which is the next prefecture to Tokyo. Case numbers here, yeah, not as high as Tokyo. Maybe I think, I'm not sure exactly, I'll try and find out, but I think the other day it was 50, maybe, in Saitama. Um, so, yeah, it's not great, but. Um, I think there's a lot of safety measures and precautionary measures in place, so um, yeah, I, I don't know really. I think it would be an absolute disaster if um, a cluster of cases broke out in a stadium. That would be the absolute worst case scenario, so I'm sure that everything is being done to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, and I only chose to come to this game today because I can walk to the stadium. I wouldn't be doing at the moment any sort of ground hopping. If you're not familiar with my channel, um, over the last two and a half years, or two and a, yeah, two and a half years, I've travelled to over 40 stadiums in Japan, all over Japan. Normally, I travel to every different part, every part of the country to watch games. At the moment, I'm not going to be doing that at all. Um, yeah, like I said, I walked to the stadium today. Um, I wouldn't go um, to another prefecture at the moment to watch football. I think it's not, yeah, probably not responsible. Um, so um, for the time being, I'll make do with coming here and maybe some of our local games. Um, but yeah, that'll be it. But you know, let's see what happens. It could improve. Fingers crossed that it gets better. And hopefully uh, the situation will be much looking much better in the next few months. I'd be really interested to hear um, in the comments, um, would you be interested in attending a match in Japan at the moment, considering the situation and also what I've explained already about the restrictions at the moment in the stadium with the masks, the alcohol hands, <coughs> the no singing, no chanting, no flags. It's not a proper experience, I guess, but at least you can watch the game. But yeah, would you be interested? Would you be? Uh, would you feel safe coming to the game at this moment in time? I, I think I do feel safe being here. I think um, the measures that are taken are okay. And also I think Omiya, the fan base is pretty local. I don't think people are going to be traveling in too much for this game. Not that I think um, people who are traveling here are necessarily going to bring any sort of uh, uh, problem, but you never know. So um, yeah, I feel okay, I think, about being here. Um, fingers crossed that everything will be okay.
皆様お聞きくださいThat's now the second game in a row where I've seen a first minute goal. In the last game, uh, the Jeff game, they also took the lead inside one minute. So yeah, very strange, but really good start for Adija. After that, the game was very slow, almost being played at a walking pace. Um, I guess it's understandable because they've still got a, there are 22 teams in this league and they've all got to play each other. The season's not being shortened. They've got to play every game. In, from now until December. So that's going to be two games a week for almost six months. So, and Japan in the summer is very hot, very humid. So you kind of understand why maybe the teams are not going hell for leather in these games, because if you do, you could be yeah, in big trouble when we get into the really hot part of the summer. Um, as for the atmosphere, I don't know what to say about the atmosphere. Um, it's very subdued, of course, because there's hardly anyone here, and there's no singing, and no chanting, and no flags. Um, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> very, very weird. One thing that I'm not a fan of is the piping in of fan noise. As you can hear, they keep playing um, like crowd noise. But there's some interference on the speakers at times. It sounds bad. I think they shouldn't do that. I don't think they need it. The clapping would be enough. Um, so I do hope that that's something that stops soon. I understand why I do, why I do it in a way, because you need to try to recreate the atmosphere, but a recording is not going to recreate the atmosphere of fans singing and shouting. So yeah, that should probably be removed from the, from the stadium, that experience. But um, yeah, I'll give you some more thoughts the full time because I'm still not really, I've not really fully comprehended the situation at the moment. But yeah, anyway, let's see what happens in the second half. 1 0 to Hardija. If they win again today, that's four wins in a row to start the season. So yeah, looking good. Let's see what happens.
tudo. We're going full time. Omiya Ardija won. Tokyo Verde nil. So that's now four wins out of four for Ardija to start the season. Um, yeah, they look decent. I think on the ball, on the attack, pretty good. Defensively solid today. Verde not really up to much this season so far, but they put a lot of pressure on towards the end. But Ardija held strong. I think um, this season, with so many games to play in such a short space of time, teams that press a lot might struggle with the fitness levels. So maybe that explains kind of the slower pace of the game today, not really closing down at each other. As for the fan experience, um, subdued, I'd say, for the most part. I think only in the last 10 minutes or so, the fans um, sort of connected with the music that was being played, the, the crowd music. They clapped along with the chants towards the end. But before that, it was kind of clunky. One fan song would start, then it would stop suddenly, and everyone would start, and there was interference on the speakers. It didn't sound so good, and I think they don't need to use it really. Maybe just at the end, for like the last 10 minutes, if the game is getting quite tense like this one was. I think that was really good because the fans were clapping along to the to the fan chants. So yeah, that, that probably worked, but for the rest of the game, I don't think you need it. Just save it for the really important moments where the fans are getting into it. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a really weird experience. It's nothing like I've ever experienced before. Um, it's kind of a mad, like, I was thinking during the game, it's like if you're watching football in an alternate reality, in a different universe or something, and people just don't understand how to react to the game. It's like they football still exists, but people can't react to it. It's so strange. Um, yeah, but it is what it is. I'm still glad to be here and to have seen the game. From a footballing point of view, it's really nice to watch a game in the stadium. You see a, you see a lot more in the stadium. Um, but the fan experience, of course, is a yeah, it's a pale imitation of how it normally is. And I've just turned off the floodlights, I think, so I probably should be getting out of the stadium soon. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the um, atmosphere today, what you thought of this uh, experience. Um, I'm not sure how many games are going to go to. From August 1st, they're apparently going to increase the uh, limit to 50% of the uh, capacity so that would be probably more like uh, 7,000 here tonight is about 2,200 here um, so let's see if they do increase the capacity from August the way the numbers are at the moment with case numbers I guess probably not but we'll see but I think seriously I have to leave the stadium now because the lights are being turned off so thank you very much for watching and um, yeah maybe I'll see you again soon for another video but please uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this and uh, comment and let me know what you thought of the experience and if you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing for more ground hopping videos around Japan so thank you very much see you next time